Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing sequence and series, and this is a video lecture number nine. I hope you have watched already part one to eight. Before watching this part nine, and uh, in this lecture we are going to discuss about the geometric mean. What is geometric mean and what their application? So, geometric mean. Let us start without wasting time. Geometric mean. What is geometric mean? So, the topic is geometric mean. Similar like what we did in arithmetic mean, here is also geometric mean. In short, it is called GM. So, let us uh, discuss this. If A and B be any two number, any two number, and G be a geometric mean between them, geometric mean between a and b a and b then a g must lie in between and b are in g it means second term divided by first term is equal to third term divided by second term this employee g square is equal to a b and hence g is equal to under root a b this is the formula for geometric mean between two numbers right this is a formula for geometric mean between two numbers so geometric mean between two numbers is under root a b i hope you got this right now suppose you have to insert more than one geometric mean then what to do if you want to insert more than one geometric mean between two numbers then in similar fashion you can do that for example uh, insert three geometric means between a and b between a and b so we can write again in the similar way let g1 g2 g3 be three geometric mean three gms between a and b between a and b and then what will happen that a therefore a g1 g2 g3 and b are in gp are in gp here the total number of terms total number of terms in the sequence h5 and p fifth term is b that is fifth term is nothing else a r to the power 4 is equal to b and therefore r to the power 4 is equal to b by a and hence r is b by a to the power 1 by 4 where r is common ratio r is common ratio right now so in that case g1 is the second term g1 is a r a into r is gr and uh, ar so g1 is a into b by a to the power 1 by 4 g2 is a r square that can be written as a and b by a to the power 1 by 4 to power 2 by 4 that is a b by a to the power what 1 by 2 and g3 is also a r q that is what a b by a to the power 1 by 4 to the power 3 that will be 3 by 4 and that can be also written as so these are the three geometric means these are three geometric means three gms between a and b a and b so i hope you got it how to deal with this similarity you can insert in geometric mean and product of n geometric mean is nth power of single geometric mean remember this this is also a very important result for competitive examination but it is not very useful for academic product of n geometric means between two numbers two numbers a and b a and b h equal to nth power of 
power of single geometric mean single geometric mean between a and b single geometric means between a and b right so that means in a slightly um, more elaborative i can write here that if g1 g2 g3 up to gn are in geometric means in geometric means between a and b and b then what will happen then product of g1 into g2 into g3 into g4 into gn is equal to single geometric mean that is ab to the power half under root ab and nth power that is n this is what the result so remember this is the important result important right now. so this is what now let us solve some questions which is given in a booklet and that will be started from question number 27 we have uh, left it here only and uh, the rest of the questions are discussed there so in question number 27 i can start from here only find the value of n find the value of n value of n so that so that a to the power n plus 1 b to the power n plus 1 upon a to the power n plus b to the power n may be geometric mean may be geometric mean between a and b geometric mean between a and b between a and b between a and b okay so this is a question and we can deal with we know the geometric mean between a and b solution we know geometric mean between a and b geometric mean between a and b a and b is under root a b geometric mean between a and b is under root so we can write here that uh, a to the power n plus 1 therefore a to the power n plus 1 plus b to the power n plus 1 divided by a to the power n plus b to the power n must be equal to under root a b and this can be written as a to the power n plus 1 plus b to the power n plus 1 is equal to a b to the power half root a b can be written as a b to the power half times a to the power n plus this employee it can be written as a to the power n plus 1 plus b to the power n plus 1 is equal to a to the power half b to the power half multiply by a to the power n plus a to the power half b to the power half multiply by b to the power n now i can uh, take common from a to the power n this side we can take here a to the power n plus 1 minus a to the power half b to the power half a to the power n and plus b to the power n plus 1 minus a to the power half b to the power half b to the power n is equal to 0. I can take here uh, out of these two we can take maximum common a to the power n and a to the power half. So what is left here because it is 1 so a to the power half is left minus this has been taken common so b to the power half is left. In this one, if I took b to the power n common, then this will be b to the power n and b to the power half can be taken here also. So, b to the power n and b to the power half can be taken common. So, b to the power half minus a to the power half will left and that will be 0. If I took a to the power half minus b to the power half common, a to the power half minus b to the power half here is the reverse one so it will leave negative sign then what will happen this will be a to the power n 
plus half and here b to the power n plus half left with negative sign and here it will leave as minus 1 right now minus 1 i can write that minus 1 is equal to 0 this either this would be 0 or that will be 0 so that is a to the power half a to the power minus half b to the power minus half cannot be equal to 0 since a is not equal to b right a and b are two different numbers and therefore we can write a attach a to the power n plus half minus b to the power n plus half is equal to 0 this employee a to the power n plus half is equal to b to the power n plus half and that further can be written as a by b whole to the power n plus half is equal to 1 this employee a by b to whole to the power n plus half is equal to a by b whole to the power 0 and hence we can write that what is that n plus 1 by 2 is equal to 0 and therefore n is equal to minus half and that will be answered for this question so hopefully you got it